Hey guys, welcome to part two. This is going to be, uh, I guess I should have named this, maybe Cozy Cabin or something like that. So, so I hope that you got an opportunity to get caught up on uh, the fireplace, basically. Uh, I've got my number eight again. I've been, I washed it off. And I really think that I'm going to go, I'm going to go right back over top. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up some yellow. Just, this is my, my bright yellow. And I'm going to come right in here and just, I'm just going to make some lines that maybe might look like some fire. Okay. Just some jagged lines. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and underneath that, I'm going to pick up some black. And I'm just going to make some, some, maybe some logs here that looks like they're all crossed over. Maybe another one right there. And I'm just going to let that, I'll leave that alone and just let that dry good. In the meantime, I'm going to work on this fireplace just a little bit more. I'm going to pick up brown. And I think, I'm sorry, I keep going over here. I'm going to pick up some brown. And I'm going to go right here in this petal of white. I'm gonna come over here. If you can see, and I'm double loading that. You guys know how I've double loaded it. And I'm just gonna touch up some of these brick and just make it maybe a little lighter. But right up here, actually, I'm going to I'm gonna create a mantle, I think. And uh I'll pick up some brown. And maybe right here on this, this middle one, I'm just going to go all the way across. Okay. And then I'm going to pick up some white. And right up next, I'm going to make for sure that it's got that sharp chisel edge. I'm just going to go sort of right on the very top of that. And even just a little bit out, I think. And I'm just gonna make it look like, maybe that's some, some molding or something. Still have that brown in there. I never did clean my brush. Just trying to make it, and I'm not trying to be fancy with this at all. And probably what I'm going to do is right down here, I'm just going to draw like a little line. Paint just a little line. To where it looks like that's where they fastened it in at. Okay. And so I'm just going to leave that for right now. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to just come back over here and I'm just going to lightly touch some of these. I'm not going to go over every one. I'm just going to put some, maybe some highlights on there. Just to lighten them up just a little bit. Remember, this is that little brush I've got. So especially right here. I want quite a bit of white because there's going to be some reflection here, we know. And that's where I'm going to just have it a lot, a lot lighter.
okay? Just to have them to, sh to light up just a little bit more. Maybe on each side. Just a little bit right here on the edges. Okay. I'm also, since I got that white in here, I'm going to come in here. I still have a little bit of brown in there, but I'm just going to go right in here with that white. I might just go even right over that yellow as well. That's okay. I'm just going to lighten this up just a little bit. And if I, I don't like it, then I'll go back over it. But I just think it needed to be just a little bit brighter. Maybe too much white. One thing about it is I'm going to clean this off with it. Now, I'm going to go back into just the brown. And I'm going to come right back over here with this. And I'm just going to touch it. I'm not going to, like, brush that all the way in there. I'm just going to touch it some. I just wanted that just a little bit lighter. And then, look, I'm just taking my, I'm not, like, going into water with that. I'm just going to clean it. And then I'm going to go, going to go back in my yellow. And I'm going to just, again, I'm just going to just put that in there a little bit. I'm going to put some orange up right in there. Just wherever you want it. And I'm actually going to put some, some red in there because... You know, it gets a little lighter. And then I'm going to come right over here with those same colors and then just sort of give a, give a reflection. And that's might be where I pick up some of that white. Well, just sort of mix them red and yellow and orange. Just, I'm just brushing it in there. I'm not trying to cover it or like get it all. Now, down here at the bottom, I think I do want it a little bit more intense. I'm not going to just. Just to make it look like maybe even with the tip of my brush, the very tip, I might just put some. Clean that brush real quick. And I lost my logs, so I'm going to go back and pick up my logs. I'm just going to put them right in here. And what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to just highlight that again with those yellow. Okay, I'm just going to just barely tap it. Thank you, even. Even some white. Just make it look like a gray ash, you know. I'm just going to tap it, a little bit of that in there. Now you can spend, you can spend as much time on this as you want, but I'm just trying for the, for the sake of doing this painting so you guys have time to do whatever you want to do. Then then, uh, but that's sort of what you can do. I feel like we need more white, and I may still put some on it. Now, let's go on. Over here to the side, I'm going to go into green. 
I do have my green over here. And I would have liked to have had maybe a, a darker green. I might just go into a little bit of black with that just to make it darker. Yeah, that's good. That's what I want. And I'm going to just come right here. And I'm going to go straight. <laughs> like I said, I'm not good at straight lines. <sighs> just going to go straight down here. And then I'm just going to start laying in some, some little branches. And guess what this is going to be? <laughs> I'm just going to keep going back and picking up paint. And again, I'm mixing. Now, if you've got a darker green, you don't have to do this. I'm just mixing. I want to mine just a little darker. Of course, you know, when you do the branches, you're just going to, you're not going to do them all the same size. You're just like, I'm just turning this. This is a flat. Now, if you have a, uh, a fan brush or a scruffy brush or something. Sometimes it's a lot easier to get those, get those branches in there. I don't want them all perfect. So, you know, I'm sort of veering off some, I'm making them different. All this is pretty much going to be covered up anyway. You will see a whole lot of the branches. Got more black. What I really want is to make sure right here on the ends that we get plenty of plenty of the branches. Like those little the sticks on the other end. I'll go all the way down now. I'm going to let that dry just for a second. And uh, while that's drying just a second, I'm going to I'm going to, uh, I think I'm actually going to put some, some more highlight, like some highlight on there. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up some white and some green. This thing is pretty big. It's hard for you all to see what all I've done. And I'm just going to, more green, of course, than I did white, but I just wanted it a little bit brighter. And I'm just going to go right on the tops, I think. Go right on the tops of those. And just keep picking up a little bit more white. Don't want it very white because I'm going to use some for the ornaments and stuff. It's going to be real cute. And if it doesn't look full enough, you can always go back in there and add some more branches. And I might to this. It's... I'm going to lighten it up just a little bit. I'm going to go all the way to the floor with that one. Okay. And... I think I still would like to have that a little bit fuller. So I'm going to go right in here where I left all those holes. 
And I'm just going to go right in there. And I'm just tapping, 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 tapping. And I'll, I just want to do a little bit fuller through there. Okay. I'm going to clean that brush. Now, I'm going to pick up that little tiny, a little tiny eight inch brush again. And uh, I think I'm just going to, what I like to do actually, I'm going to take the script liner. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here in the white. And this is, I'm going to pick up some water. This is the only time I will use waters with the script liner. And right here next to the white puddle, I'm just going to make like a, almost like a little inky puddle. I don't want it so thin that it's runny, but I want it pretty thin. And then I'm just going to twist that brush and I'm going to come over here and I'm going to start just tapping. And if it doesn't look dark enough, maybe I don't have enough. I'm just going to tap in to where it looks like some garland. Okay. I'm just tapping that in there. It could either be garland or lights. I don't like how that's said it needs to be rolled over there. Go right over top. There was too much white there, so it looked like there was. I'm just tapping that in. Almost like they're light. Okay. I'm going to clean that. I think I'm actually going to use the, the end of the brush. I'm going to go right here in the red. And I'm just going to put some little, little dots. I'm just barely touching that wherever you would like to have an ornament. I'm going to keep going back in there. Especially down here on the ends. It's wherever. I don't like to do them so perfect that they just look like they're all in a row. I want them randomly in there. And if you don't want red, you can use any color that you want to use. A lot of people do pastels. This is beautiful and pastels as well. I got a surprise for you though. Once we get the tree and everything done, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna probably think, oh gosh, this is the hardest part of the whole painting. Okay, Put one up here, maybe one right there, one right there, one right there. Okay, I'm gonna clean that. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some more of that white and I'm just going to, get, I hope I can roll this out there. And I'm just going to go right around these. I'm just going to make them just a little, almost like they're just kind of 
trying to make them just a little bit, it's look like a glow around them or something. You don't want to do that part. You don't have to. My brush is not the best in the world. This particular, this particular one is not for whatever reason. Normally I can just get it right on in there. <laughs> Almost like it's just taking it away rather than adding it. So hoping it was going to make it more of a glow. Okay, now, now I believe I'm going to pick up some, I'm going to pick up some, some yellows too. Again, remember what we're doing, we're just tapping it in there. Just randomly put it in there. It's too big, too big. Again, you can use any color that you choose to use. Again, just very randomly, I'm putting them on here. Amazing. Oh, we missed a branch. <laughs> okay, so that's about it for that. Now, what I might do, <laughs> and this is totally up to you guys again, whether or not you want to do this. Again, I'm coming over here. I'm doing an inky, inky white. Inky, white, white. And I'm just going to come over here and then some of the, I'm going to make for sure. When I use the script liner, I roll that to where it makes the, tries to make a point. Like I said, this is not probably my best script liner. But every once in a while, I like to just, too much ink. Too much paint. Sometimes good enough or Little is enough. <laughs> I'm just going to come over here and just sort of brush in it a little bit to make it look like it might be like a glow off of some of that. You don't want to do this part. Please just do what you feel comfortable with now. Also going to come over here and my yellow. And we'll put there we go. 
my crown or my cross, uh, my star. I'll do some white on that too. Just gonna let that dry. We'll go right back over here now with the script liner. I'm just gonna do the script liner. Go right back over here and go back over some of this red, just just randomly. Some of the yellow. I actually don't like that script liner for that, so I'm going to go back to my little number eight. I just want this to be actually like a lot brighter. I picked up some right in between there. I want some, some white. It really just looks like it's it's very hot. It's putting a few white streaks through there. I've got all that on the brush. I'll go back over here. Just a little bit. And just, just to highlight it. Even down here to make it look a little brighter. On the sides. Like it's a bunch of reflections. Back into the black a little bit. Just highlight underneath those logs. Okay. Look to top. Look at the fireplace. Yeah. Again, you can take this to pieces. Sometimes less is a lot better. <laughs> Cleaning my brush all good. And I think uh, I'm just going to do like a, I'm just going to try to do uh, maybe a little red box here. Right here in the white. Just going to put like a little a 
maybe just a few of those. Different sizes. I think she was only used to this. There, that's good. That's all I'm going to do. Now, I really think I'm going to come up here. Again, you guys can do as much of this as you want, but I'm going to come up here. And I think I'm going to do I'm gonna pick up some green and some of that black like I did the tree. I'm going to make that chisel edge. And I'm just gonna go right here. And I'm just gonna make it look like there's some garland here. All I'm doing is sort of pouncing that. Okay. And with that, I'm just going to pick up little tiny bits of red. Little tiny bits with the corner or the tip of my brush. Ooh, that's a big old glob. Well, watch how much you get. It'll... Again, I'm not trying to do any detail, really. I'm just just want to make it look like it's could be berries or something. Okay. We can get really wild. <laughs> uh -huh. How about we do one across? Like do a reef across here. Remember, this is like I'm trying to make this very rustic. I'm not trying to make anything perfectly round or anything like that. I want all them jagged edges in there. Make it look like it's. And then again, maybe some red. Of course, I get way too much on some of it. Okay. Now, <laughs> now, what we're going to do is we're going to strip this paint off. Don't worry if it's got paint underneath there. Sometimes that'll happen. But we're going to cover that up. I'm just going to get my paint off. Not all four off there. I know I'm leaving the camera a lot, guys. I'm learning how to do this. So I hope this will cut me a little bit of grace. Now I'm going to use my big, my big flat brush for this. And I think I'm going to mix, I want to just use the black. I don't know what I want to do. 
I think I'm going to try to mix up uh, like a dark gray. Although I may just go ahead. I might just use the black. I'm just going to go in here. I'm going to go into floating medium just so that I can get that to really go smoothly. Now, I'm going to go right over here. I've got that sharp chisel edge. I'm going to go right over here to the edge of that. And as straight as I possibly can, I'm going to go down. And I'm not good at straight lines, I'll be honest with you. See, I already messed it up. Let's see. Do the same over here. You're like, what in the world are you doing, Fred? That one. Okay, and down at the bottom. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this in with black. I need more black paint. I'm just going to make that all black. Feel that in. Now this is just a small eight by ten canvas. I don't know that I even said what size it was. Okay. Now, <laughs> I'm just going to go right over the top of this real quick with black as well. It's hard to see what I'm doing, but I'm just going to go just barely, if I can, just make the slightest little mark all the way across there. Make it look like it's encased. Okay, I'm cleaning that brush. What I want to do really quick before I do what my little, got my little eight inch brush again. And I will lighten this up just a little bit. I never highlighted that. 
and I definitely wanted to. If I'm just going to go in here, and I'm just going to light that up with just a little bit. And just touch them, tap, 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 tap. Just um, put some light on there. Make it look like it's bright. Same way with this. I'm not brighten it up at all. And also here, um, I didn't put any shadow. I found this floor right through here. I just wanted to do that in my brain. Maybe some of that. Throw it underneath here. I hope it looks like it's some shadow here. through here. On this part. The same way with some of this. Um, so I'll put just the slightest little little tints from all the reds. Maybe some yellow. Definitely white. One last thing, guys. I'm going to do well. It ain't one last thing, but I got that just that brown, and I'm just going to go back through here really quick, and I'm just touching, touching, touching. And I'm just a very, very light touch. And I'm just sort of defining those blocks just a little bit more. Now that everything is dried. You know, because when they lay blocks before, they have like a, like a mortar in between them. I just want to just highlight it just a little bit more. These need to be a little bit lighter. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> so basically, this brush from down here. I'm sorry, you guys probably did not even see what I was doing. I was highlighting this down here just a little bit. Now. I'm going to take black. 
Just gonna take a little bit of black on my brush. Get that sharp chisel edge. And I'm gonna go <laughs> right down here, what seems like the middle. I'm going to do a very, very light touch. Like I said, I'm not, a lot of times if you can hold your finger down there, it keeps you steady, but I'm not good at doing lines. So a lot of times I need something with a straight edge to help me get it. And then the same way here. I'm going to try to line this up some a little bit. Okay. Same way here. About midway. <laughs> crooked, crooked. I can't get there. See how crooked. Man, I am crooked. Let's see. I have to go and do a wider thing there. Halfway decent. I suggest you all be able to measure that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to come over here and clean that. I'm going to have to clean it up sometime. I'm going to do that. Might be able to do it here. So what I'm doing now is I'm just going to come over here and this looks like a, it's supposed to look like a window. <laughs> I'm going to just come over here and put snow. Snow right through here. And what I'm going to do, I might be able to. Line that up better. If I, okay. Since I've got that so crooked, I won't be able to do it with snow. <laughs> Just won't put as much on here. Now, what I do want to do, <laughs> and this is, is bad again, so, so I'll give a little bead right to here on each side. Uh, 
So I hope this is pretty much all I'm going to do, but I hope that well, I'm going to take this. Oops. I want to take just a little bit of white. It might be like a real inky little yellow with white. White and yellow. I wanted to just let me highlight that just a little bit more. Okay, guys. I hope that you can let you can see that upset. <laughs> I'm probably better the way I have it. So I hope that you will enjoy this painting. And then uh just enjoy experimenting with it anyway. <laughs> and all right, so you need to actually try to always sign your paintings. I'm not the best at remembering to do that. And I think I'm also going to go. I think I need white or like snow on all all of the all of the um the areas. Or not, I don't know. I just thought maybe more, a little bit deeper through here, maybe. Try that. Okay. So I'm just going to come down here. I usually like to use a script liner, but you really need a to use a good one. <laughs> so, and then you come over here with that inky. Make like an inky puddle. And you just roll your. Oh, I know what I forgot. Ah, I'm not done. I'm not done. Um, let's see how I can do this. I knew there was something I was not doing. Okay, I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna make this really, really inky. Okay. I'm gonna take this brush. And I'm just gonna go. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's flatter than that. Makes it look like it's snowing. A lot of times I don't like to do it that way. Let me see. I sometimes like to use a toothbrush. To me, it's oh, this is just for a second. Okay, so I got a toothbrush here in that inky white. And I'm just going to flip it. And it just makes it look like it's got snow. I don't have enough white on there. I'm getting it all over my mouth. <laughs> this is not a this is not a clean job right here. <laughs> Give it a bit of water. <laughs> Let's 
There we go. You're not flipping it on that. However much you want. Oh my gosh, funny. Ah. Okay, so there we go. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you don't like how how it splatters. You can always, if you do it really quickly, you can tap up some of it. But I wouldn't suggest that you do it that way. And then down at the bottom, I still have to do some of my I'm get the rest of my black paint down at the bottom. And then I'm done. So other than the sign it. And this side, I thought I did. I did not. Okay, so now we're just going to sign again. Got a little strip liner is the best thing to do that with. And I think I'm just going to use white. Again, I got that inky petal already. And I'm just going to roll that brush. And I'll probably just put my initials down here. Sometimes if it's too watery, this is pretty watery. Also too, just remember that because this is acrylic, your colors are going to like probably um, be a lot darker when they dry. So, you can go back and put some highlight in there if you choose, and uh, that's up to you. Once you get it, get it finished and get it all dry, you can see what it's going to look like. So I hope <laughs> I know this was not organized. This is the first time I ever done this painting, so I just thought I have this I wanted to try, and so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. Have a good night.